uh, for me, I, I think I referenced Dutch Bros like at least five times a week. Um, I've learned so much from that company, and it's it's a That's growing a coffee company. Yeah, right? it's a growing coffee company, and I hopped in literally two months after graduating from college. Um, and at the time, they had 300 locations in the Southwest. So they oh, were shit. Yeah. It's a big company. It, I said it, it was like a local shop in like Arizona. Right. Or but it felt like a local shop. And I think that's why I learned so much from them because they were just so <laughs> proud of the quality they served. They were so proud of the people they hired. And it was like everyone's goal in college to work there. It was the cool people. Um, and, and they even told us in training, like, they were like, we're not even saying this from an arrogant perspective, but a lot of people look up to Dutch Bros workers like they're rock stars. Like people who work there say that they walk on campus and people are like, oh my God, you work at Dutch Bros. Like that's so cool, you know? And it it like successfully captured this culture that I had never seen before. No one talks about Starbucks like that. No one talks about any coffee shop like that. Like, oh, you work at that coffee shop. But there was that coffee shop on campus. So you got to interact with a lot of college students. But anyways, I learned a lot about, you know, quality and service and speed and how important these core values are to the company that they didn't sacrifice it for anything. It was a part of the training. It was a part of the quizzes. It was a part of if your manager was on shift, they were keeping an eye on you for that stuff. Not even from a micromanaging perspective, but just to keep that culture alive. So the first thing they taught us was speed, quality, service, don't sacrifice one for the other. If you can go faster making the drink and the quality is going to go down, don't. And if you can go slower on the drink and the quality is going to go up, don't. The quality and the speed and the service all have to be the priority together. And so that's obviously just one of the many things that I've learned. But there were so many questions that came up in management meetings. Um, things like, oh, I have a question. A customer came by yesterday and they said that they didn't like their drink from the day before or that morning. Uh, but their drink was already half finished. Should I remake it for them? And the manager goes, never check how much from their drink they drink. That's not your business. Like, why are you trying to find a way out of remaking their drink? Definitely remake it for them. Um, you know, and someone's like, oh, you know, someone asked for a black coffee, but then they added a bunch of cream and flavors. And now technically it's not a black coffee. Can we charge them for a latte? And they were like, it's not your money. Like, why are you trying to find a way out of helping our customers? Those customers are the reason you have a paycheck. Hook them up, you know. And so I think I learned so much about the quality and the service and, and the whole concept of just bending over backwards for your customer. Um, and I think we've implemented that so successfully in Nominal where so many of our five-star reviews as they came in pouring over the first, like, two years of the business – um, you know, just being in business a year and a half, we had thousands of reviews and almost like 80% of them mentioned something about the customer service, something about if there was a mistake, they fixed it immediately. If there, if it was a late order and I missed the birthday, they hooked me up with a gift card. Uh, if I got a defective item, immediate replacement, no questions asked. And we pride ourselves so much in that. And I, I take that directly from Dutch bros. That's sick. That's actually like next level customer service they really were something else to be 300 honest. locations though at the time they're probably at like 500 now they're growing That's like crazy freaking nuts, yeah <laughs> i can't imagine yeah and arizona was one of the first states that they operated in so that's why i was saying i got the local feel you know like that that you know, that building was built on the college campus such a long time ago, and it feels like it's part of Arizona's culture. It doesn't feel like a chain when you go to Dutch Bros. Um, you know the manager there, you know the people that work there, and there's just something cool about them. So whenever they taught me something, it didn't feel like a corporate rule that they came up with. It felt like they have so much pride in their coffee and in their store that we have to uphold that service. You have to remake a drink if the customer doesn't like it. There's no way around it. You know what I mean? Um, and I think that, like, that structure to that quality and service just carried over for me forever. I left two and a half years ago and I still reference them like every day. Hope you enjoyed that clip. If you want to watch the full episode, you can click right here. If you want to watch more clips, you can click right here. And if you want to subscribe to this channel, you can click right here to stay up to date when we drop new clips.